Welcome to Unit 3, Module 2, Young Learners, and I'm Jeff Berner. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the sports and recreation industry and some of the marketing aspects that can impact it. Like, how do sports marketing teams know their target markets? And what is segmenting? All important information. Hopefully, I can segment in a way you understand. Don't worry, the jokes get better. Okay, no, no they don't. But let's go anyhow. One of the ways sports marketing teams learn about their target markets is industry or market segmentation. Market segmentation is a method of analyzing a market by using specific characteristics to identify a target market. Sports marketing uses market segmentation to identify their target markets. For example, sports fans, athletes, college students, and young men in the 14 to 34 age category are all examples of target markets. Market segmentation can take many different aspects, but we're going to focus on three of the following characteristics to help define a target market. Number one, geographic location. Number two, demographics. And number three, psychographics. <laughs> Geographic location is where the consumer lives. For example, the states of Kansas and Missouri are key target markets for the Kansas City Chiefs. Next up is demographics. Demographics are statistics used to describe a population, including gender, age, race, and earnings. For example, companies such as CoverGirl and Secret have endorsement deals with young female athletes like Olympians, Natasha Lukin and Sean Johnson to help them market to young women. The last category is psychographics. Psychographics are the attitudes or the opinions a consumer has towards an activity, institution, or lifestyle. For example, the athletic departments at colleges often focus on marketing towards students, parents, and alumni because they know these groups will support the college. I get stuff from JMU all the time. All the time. All of this leads to a marketing plan. A marketing plan contains broad marketing goals and objectives for an entire company. It also provides direction for marketing activities of a company for a specific period of time. A marketing plan is completed to ensure a company reaps all the benefits of a particular marketing strategy. It also helps a company monitor its performance when marketing products. The next category we want to talk about is sports products. They are goods, services, or ideas related to sports which provide satisfaction to consumers. They make up product lines. A product line is a group of closely related items which are manufactured or sold by a company. Sports products can be classified into the following categories. Sporting events, sports information, sports training, sporting goods. Sporting events are the main category of sports products. They include the following examples, the games, competitions, athletes, the stadiums and arenas. The second category is sports information. This includes news, statistics, schedules, and stories associated with the sports. Sports information is shared through media outlets such as television, radio, the internet, and magazines. Sports information includes the following examples. Sports Illustrated, the magazine, ESPN Sports Center, 
Bleacher Report's website. The third category is sports training. Sports training is considered a sports service normally offered through a gym, fitness center, or athletic department, often in the form of a camp, a clinic, or a lesson. Sports training is an intangible product. Intangible products are non-physical services. Sports training examples include a basketball camp. I know a little bit about those. Swimming lessons or a quarterback clinic. Throwing touchdowns, baby. Let's start off. The last category is sporting goods. Sporting goods are tangible products and equipment for use in sports. Remember, tangible products are physical goods which satisfy a need or want of the customer. Sporting goods can be purchased at retail outlets, online, and often at sporting event venues. Some examples of sporting goods are equipment, pads, helmets, and the balls that we play with. Licensed merchandise, jerseys, t-shirts. So what is a product line? A product line contains items which either work together or are very similar to one another. A product line meets the need or want of a customer group. An example of a product line is that Nike may have a running shoe product line, which contains many different styles and colors, but they all fall into the category of running shoes. So what is a product mix? A product mix is the total assortment of goods a company makes or sells. So what's an example of a product mix? Nike's product mix would not only include the running shoe product line, but also their lines for athletic clothing, basketball shoes, football cleats, golf shoes, and so on and so on. So that's my presentation for market segmentation. Now read through the material on the Schoology page to reinforce the content from the video. Remember, vocabulary words appear in red throughout the page. Don't forget to do your unit activities after each of the modules. Then move on to module three, where we're gonna talk about the methods of sports marketing. Until next time, young Padawans, may the force be with you.